this fucking movie was smart enough to switch it on you. And you were like, oh shit, I knew exactly everything that was going to happen because it was laid out. And then it flipped a little bit. And that's one of the reasons I think it's smart is because you have to kind of figure it out. You've got it all figured out. They tell you the whole movie exactly what's going to happen. And then when it's time for it to happen, you have to like jog your brain and reset it like a modem before a podcast recording session. Figure out what the fuck is going on. So the, the last thing I wanted to say before a rating was there are a handful of films made after the 80s that I consider to be modern horror masterpieces. Those in include uh, The Taking of Deborah Logan, Dead Silence, Trick or Treat, not 1985, although I love that movie, Trick or Treat with Sam, and, and this film, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. And something I think it's interesting about all those when I comprise that list, all of them did not do well at the box office. None of them were financially successful. And they are all these great fucking masterpieces, masterworks for people to view. Can we throw uh, the autopsy of Jane Doe on there? Haven't seen it, but I know I've heard good things. But still, to your point, what you're saying there, you you added one. There, there's not many. There's not many. And this happens to be one of them. Just a masterful fucking movie. You got any you want to put on there, Leah? I did have one thing that I wanted to kind of toss in. And maybe it's it's related, but a slight derail is the fact that if you have watched this movie, if you like this movie, and we did talk about how we want more of this movie, I have a suggestion is that what this reminded me of a lot is we've talked about it before. I'm a reader. So there is actually a book called The Final Girl Support Group. <laughs> 